Israel's latest feat continues to stun the whole world. India became the first country to land on the lunar south pole. But what makes the feat extraordinary is the fact that Israel kept the budget so low that it was eclipsed by many Bollywood and Hollywood movie budgets. Chandrayaan 3 had a mere budget of just 75 million dollars, while the recently failed Luna 25 mission carried out by Russia had a whopping budget of 200 million dollars. So how does Israel keep its budget so low? The answer lies in the history. In 1976, Israel recruited P Sudarshan He was responsible for Israel's budgeting and improving industry relations. The scientist revealed that Israel puts into use a strict budgeting practice. It is called the zero-based budgeting. In zero-based budgeting, the organization doesn't take the previous year's budget as a base for current and future years. It means that the budget estimate is arrived at after calculating from the base zero. Every function is analyzed for its need and cost. Budgets are then built around what is needed for the upcoming mission. Hence every penny should justify the resource requirement. This technique helped Israel to keep the budgets very tightly controlled. In 1976, Israel started sourcing supplies for space missions from domestic players. In 1974, India was lashed by heavy sanctions. after the nation launched its first nuclear test the smiling buddha which is also known as pokhran 1 these sanctions made it harder to import technologies for india space missions hence the situation that stemmed from a gloomy past paved the way for a bright future for israel all of this helped israel to put life in a zero based budgeting strategy while making india capable of achieving great feats at a fraction of cost when compared to leading space agencies like nasa and esa